Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra once again. And today in Shiksha Mantra, we have a very special discussion for you. And this discussion is again regarding God. As we have already discussed how an important part God is in our learning of English grammar. And these verbs, these are of so very different kinds. And with the change of their theme, actually, there we observe a change even in their uses. And it's really very vital to learn their proper uses. So you don't learn what's their proper uses and which types of verbs are used in which condition. It's actually very difficult for you to use the verbs properly by maintaining its proper structure. And today, we are going to discuss a verb that's very special and the verb is named Verbs of Perception. Yes, dear friends, it's a very vital discussion. So have your pen and paper and uh, take down you have to take a note of what i am saying so let's begin our discussion of verbs of perception the very word perception it means what it means your feelings what you have felt what you have experienced so what uh, we experience we experience by means of seeing by means of listening or hearing or sometimes by means of feeling as well so these verbs see hear feel and uh, also the verbs like smell like taste so these verbs are called verbs of perception because here we speak of some obviously yes some experience some perception and these verbs have a speciality there are some other verbs as well which we consider as uh, verbs of perceptions and the verbs are like notice observe and also like recognize so these are also the verbs of perceptions but very strongly as we consider the verbs of perceptions uh, mostly for which these rules would be applicable these are see, hear, like, taste and smell. Now why is this verb special? Most of the time you use an ing form for any of the verbs that you get. But here you must remember that these verbs of perceptions they are used only in simple tenses and not in progressive or continuous tenses. So you have to produce sentences with these verbs only as simple present. But you can't use these verbs in present continuous or present progressive tenses. So this is the key point of our discussion. So from here we'll proceed further and we'll have a lot of discussion regarding uh, those uh, structures and what to maintain etc etc but here the most important factor or the key factor remains what it remains you can't use them in continuous tenses now what will happen if you do so if you use them in continuous tenses actually they will be used for some other senses there will be a change of their sense so it's very difficult to maintain their sense when you use these verbs in continuous tenses. So the key factor that we'll remember that they won't be used in continuous tenses. But here we must remember that these are mostly used with can or could. How? I can see the bird. I can see the door. I can see the leaves. So here, every time I produce this sentence, I may use can or could with them. 
So verbs or perceptions are mostly used with can or could. Now here we have to speak of uh, Betty Azo. Betty Azo in her book Understanding and Using of English Grammar, she had commented something very, very interesting. She said an English speaker use verbs of perception before another verb either in their simple form or with their ing form. So verbs of perceptions are used with some other verbs either in their simple form. Here by simple form of the verb we actually mean the bare infinitive that is infinitives without to. Uh, if you don't have a knowledge of bare infinitive how they are used where they are used I have a video regarding this and I'll put the link in the description box below as well as uh, in the i button so from here you can check the infinitive bare infinitives so we use a bare infinitive after the verbs of perceptions this is the first point and there is another point we also use verbs of perceptions with ing but for constructing these sentences we must remember that we have to put an object in the middle so verbs of perception then object then comes what then comes the bare infinitive or there comes verbs of perceptions object and then the verb ing form so what happens let's produce a sentence and uh, we'll understand it better so i heard her sing i heard her sing this is the first sentence and the second sentence that i'll produce here i heard her singing so according to Betty Azur, when we put ing, verb ing construction, what we do, here we apply a sense of while. How it is? I heard her singing when I was passing by her room. So I was passing by her room. So here's a while sense. I heard her singing. But when I say I heard her sing, what happens here with i heard her sing actually we are producing a particular sense that i had listened to her singing the whole time i had listened to her sing her song actually uh, from the beginning till the end i have completed the song I have listened to it very carefully but when I say I heard her singing a song when I was crossing by her door that means I hadn't listened it completely I have only heard it so that's the difference when we use infinitive or ing form. So these are the two forms to constructions that gets associated with verbs of perception and there's also another factor. Sometimes we use verb of perception, object and past participle form. So what happens when we use past participle form with verbs of perception? Actually when we use past participle form with verbs of perception it becomes special because it produces a sense of passiveness. So uh, let's produce a sentence here and we'll find it very much easy to understand. I heard my name repeated several times. So there goes the sentence. I'm repeating again. I heard my name repeated several times. So someone repeated my name. That means my name was repeated for several times. I heard. So when I say I heard my name repeated, 
it means I'm using verbs of perception. Then I'm using what? Then I'm using an object, my name. And after the object, I'm using past participle, heard. So what happens here? It produces a passive effect. So these are the constructions which goes with verbs of perception. So key factor that you have to remember here that you can't use verb ing form with verbs of perception. So what happens if you use present continuous or present progressive tense with verbs of perception? What happens? Let's uh, find an example and you'll understand what I'm saying. If I say, I can see the bird or I can see him. It means uh, the person is uh, somewhere uh, probably uh, in between the speaker I and the person he. There are uh, some objects and uh, the speaker is asked whether he can observe the man and he said yes, I can see him. This is very simple. Now what happens? You may use it in simple present form without can I see him. Now, if you say, I am seeing him, what happens? After C, you have added ing. So, you have said, I am seeing him. So, here, C doesn't mean watch or observe. Rather, here by seeing, what you mean? You are planning a meeting with him. So, the whole sense gets changed. The idea that was behind the sentence had actually changed. You say, I am seeing him. That means you are planning to meet him. So when you put ing after the verbs of perception, see it doesn't remain a verb of perception anymore. Rather its sense gets changed. And this is the most important factor. This is the key factor for our learning of English language. Here you have to keep into mind that with the changes of tenses, the change of the sense of a word, the sense of an expression is also obvious. So if there is a change of tense, there will be a change of sense. And that's why verbs of perception is so very important for us. And now we'll talk about another point that's very important. Yes, dear friends, for C and hear, we have found out that these are verbs of perceptions and they are used in particular ways, etc, etc. But for here, you can have another word that's listen. So what happens when you say listen instead of hear? Actually, listen, this is what we consider a verb that can be used with ing. For here, you can't use ing when it's verbs of perception. For C, you can't use ing when it's verbs of perception. But the similar words, look, you can add ing with this. Why is it so? It's very simple. When you say I see, it means you have actually looked at it. Just have a look at it. But when you say, I look, I look, I'm looking. So you are providing some time, some care with this. And the same thing happens with hear and listen. I hear her singing. But when you say, I hear her sing, that means I'm listening to what she was singing. So you put a bit more time, you spend a more time with the verb. And for look and listen, you can add ing. Yes, dear friends, this is our verbs of perception. And uh, if you want to learn many things like this, uh, like the verbs of perceptions and many other grammatical and English language, and also many other things about education, you have to stay with Shiksha Mantra with this channel. And we have an Instagram channel as well as a Telegram channel. So you can follow us in Instagram and Telegram. For in Telegram, you'll get notes 
and notifications uh, regarding all these videos that we have produced here in Shiksha Mantra uh, YouTube channel. We also have a Facebook channel managed in Bengali and uh, the name uh, there is also Shiksha Mantra. So stay with us, enjoy your learning. We are returning very soon. Until then, bye bye, happy learning.